In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating CSS sprite sheets. Um, this actually works for XML and JSON also. Now, there are a few rules, relatively speaking, um, and these are actually different between CS5 and CS6+. Plus. What happens is, in CS5, uh, you can drag your icons anywhere on the screen, but we do recommend that you do not overlap icons. In CS6+, Plus, this is irrelevant. You can basically just place your items anywhere. Now, all the information will get converted in the output and this is including images text and shapes as actual images uh, basically a PNG sprite sheet now what you can do with the sprite sheet is reuse your images and it will use only one single file that way you can save on bandwidth now this is very simple to do all you have to do is basically have your icons anywhere on the screen and once we load up export kit we can go to our images panel and we basically switch to sprite sheets now we can select the ones that we have available depending on what outputs you have and let's just go with all three to test now once we export what will happen is we'll have one single image file and we can just go ahead and take a look at this sorry let's go to our skins so you'll see that what we have is one single PNG file and this basically encompasses all the image assets that we had within our Photoshop document now what we can do also is take a look at the actual output that it gave us and what export kit will do is organize your files so that you can basically reference them easily plus it will allow you access to each individual item that you have so we can take a look at the sprite sheet example itself now this is just a summary of all the actual individual images that you had in your Photoshop file. What you can do is link this actual sprite sheet here, um, this is basically the one that you created, and you can reuse any individual class within your output or you can actually add them as a custom class in Export Kit. So you can see simple and easy sprite sheets using Export Kit. And now this is the CSS version, let's uh, take a look at um, actually the XML and JSON really quick also. So let's look at JSON, you'll see super clean and let's take a look at the XML and again super clean